everyone this is namrata hope you all are doing good and staying safe today we'll be covering another topic in salesforce which is soql which stands for salesforce object query language here is the agenda for today's session we will be covering the definition of soql what is the purpose of soql how can you write an soql query in salesforce how to query related objects using soql the related objects could be between the standard objects and the custom objects so now let's understand the definition of SOQL. As I mentioned earlier, SOQL stands for Salesforce Object Query Language. It is mainly used to query or retrieve your org data from the database. Using SOQL, you can easily fetch the data. So this SOQL is very similar to SQL, which is Structured Query Language. So most of the stuff, whatever you have it in the SQL, you will have it in Salesforce object query language. So it's also SOQL is also similar to creating the reports. For example, in your Salesforce org, if you want to create a report, what do you do? You will understand what are all the different attributes or fields that you need in order to create a report. Suppose, for example, you have received a request from your business that um please create create a report for all the accounts that exist in the salesforce so you, you will request you will check with the business what in all of the different fields the business is looking out to have in that specific uh, report right like what in all of the different columns so in the same way we will be creating uh, we will be using the soql which is very similar to say uh, creating the reports in salesforce so when do we use the Salesforce uh, object query language? If you want to retrieve the data from single object or if you want to retrieve multiple objects that are related to each other, you will be using uh, the SOQL. And you can also you will be using the SOQL if you want to count the number of the records that meet specific criteria. If you wanted to sort results based upon the query, you will use the SOQL. If you want to retrieve the data from the number, data, date or check fee, checkbox fields, you can use SOQL. Now, whenever you write down the SOQL, it should return something, right? So the return type of the SOQL is records. So, and also if you re remember, you have something called as a governor limits in Salesforce. So as a part of the SOQL, total number of records that can be retrieved using the SOQL queries, the limit is 50,000. So this is something which you have to remember. This is one of the Salesforce governor limits that you can retrieve um, around 50,000 records using the SOQL and the return type for the SOQL is records. So here is the very basic syntax on how to write an SOQL. You will have to use a word select. Then what in all of the different fields that you want to retrieve the information? You have field 1, field 2, field N. From which specific object you want to fetch the information? Like in Salesforce, you have objects, custom objects and standard objects, right? Like um, you have a um, custom standard objects as ac account. And if you have any custom object like inventory, you can use that object name here and then use a where clause or uh, filter conditions. So this is a basic SOQL. So what we will be doing is we'll see how to write an SOQL queries for both of these um, objects. And we'll also see how to write an SOQL query for the related object, how to write an SOQL queries for related object, that is whether it is a standard object or custom objects. On top of that, we'll also see how to write an SOQL for standard objects as well as custom objects. We'll try to split this session into session, two different session. In session one, mainly we'll concentrate on the writing down a simple SOQL query for standard as well as the custom objects. In session two, we'll uh, will cover the related objects. So now let us get into the demo. So I have already logged in into my Salesforce DevOps and from the Salesforce DevOps, if you see on the right hand side, setup, click on this gear icon and open the developer console. So in order to uh, write down the SOQL, I will be using a developer console. So this developer console is an integrated dev environment, which is a short name is IDE, where you can create, you can debug, and you can test any applications in our organization. So using this developer console, you can create 
various apex classes if triggers if you have any auto components you can create it using the developer console so i've already had this developer console open so here if you can see if you wanted to create any apex class you can create it if you want to create a trigger if you want to create the lightning component you can create a lightning component so there are a lot of things that you can do using the developer console you can browse the package if you wanted to browse something open the resource these and all of the different um, classes that are existing in my org you can open any of the classes and uh, if you want to open anything else you can open a lightning resource you can test our code if you have anything you can test it you can generate the logs for the debug and you can write the soql as well as the sosl sosl stands for salesforce object search language so for our session today uh, since we are mainly concentrating on the soql we will be using a developer console to write a soql queries so in order to write down the soql you will have to navigate to the query editor yeah if you see the query editor click on the query editor and then write down the soql query so as a step one we will be querying the fields that is uh, you will write create an soql query for a standard object so here i'm referring the standard object as account and from this account i am navigating to fields and relationships here if you see there are different types of um, fields uh, available and uh, these are all the different field names so when you write down the soql you will have to use the field api name and if at all you have any custom fields based upon for that custom field you will have to use the api name for that specific uh, custom uh, field on this uh, standard object so let's create a field okay i'm just giving it as text sample field length 20 then just give next then click next and save now let us you you can use that specific name So I've added that uh, one field call as a name. If you need the, what is the ID, you can add that. I've added the description and I'm also adding the custom field. If you want to add any other fields, you can use that. If you know what is the type, just click on that field name, comma, type from account. Then once you are done writing the SOQL query, because this is a very simple SOQL query. So what we are doing, we are using the select query we are using the fields whatever we have it in that specific uh, standard object then we are using this condition from this object then click on execute you see it in the here at the bottom of the page click on execute so here you can see that this soql query is returning the records that matches that has uh, the name id of that specific record what is a description if it has any if it has any sample field it will display and if you have anything like type it will display all of this so currently in the salesforce these and all are the nine records which are available in salesforce for the account so these are the records that were created for the account object you can also use the count Count, then brace from account so here it should give me the total rows as 9 so if you are using this count then it will just give me the count of number of the records account records that are existing in my salesforce org but if you are using this specific uh, soql which has different fields we are asking to fetch these type all these different fields from this account object it will retrieve all of those details about each specific field 
and it will display the records that is it it will return the records uh, uh, to us so this is how you create a soql query for the standard objects there are like various you can use the where clause as well like where name like let's see if that works sfdc So this is how you can also use a where clause. So if you wanted to use the where clause, you can use that whatever the statement you have written, select from this account, where name like SFDC. So it will only uh, give me the records that matches this specific criteria what you are writing down. Percentile SFDC, percentile, which means anything that uh, has the SFDC in it, it will retrieve those records and it will display it over here and the next thing is you can also use if you want to limit there are a lot of different a lot of records which are available in salesforce um, in the salesforce for the account object right you may have different a um, uh, lot of different records so if you want to limit you can also limit it by five so rather than retrieving nine records it will retrieve just the five uh, records so you are limiting the soql to display only the five records you can do that and if you wanted to do the uh, write down the filter condition like order by name ascending it will display all of the records in the ascending order if you wanted to DESC. If you wanted to display it in the descending order, all the records, um, SOQL will display the records in the descending order. So, this is how you can use the where clause. You have different filter conditions that can be used as a part of the SOQL query. So, based upon your requirement, if you wanted to fetch different types of fields, you can use those fields API name and you can write down your SOQL query for the standard objects so now let us see how to write a soql query for the custom object so let's navigate back to the salesforce go back to the object manager and navigate to the inventory i've created this custom object let's go to fields and relationship here i have just created a couple of few fields so let us see how to query it so remove this Select. So if you see here, it is clearly telling me how can I write down my SOQL query, the help text, enter SOQL or SOSL query, select columns from type where predic predicates find what in type. So this is something which is related to the SOSL. Let's type in select account name okay i'm using the field api name description okay then i'm also using the inventory name and um, i also want the id from this specific object inventory and what is the object uh, api name i have to use this inventory underscore underscore c if i'm not choosing the underscore underscore c and if i try to click on the execute it will not give me any results because inventory is not a standard objects for only if it is standard objects you will not be uh, appending app you know you will not be adding the underscore underscore c otherwise you will have to add underscore underscore c now this should give me list of all the records i've just created a single record so it is giving me that specific uh, record and it is also giving me the account id you can use this account id and then you can search the record here 
when you go back to the because I'm already in the inventory so let's go home and if you want to search with that specific ID you can do that so here if you see Oh, it is providing me the ID of that specific account. I have to use this ID. That is the account uh, name because it's being reference. I have created a related object for that. So here if you see it is redirecting me to that specific um, inventory one i have created this inventory one and it is you can easily very uh, view that specific record so that's how you can use the sql to write down your uh, queries which are related to the standard or the custom objects so this is what we have for today's session we have covered how do you write an sql query using for the standard objects and the custom objects in our session two what we will do is we'll see uh, when two objects are related right how can you write the sql uh, queries it could be standard two different standard objects or a standard object and the custom object so we'll see that in our session two until we come until that until that please do take care of yourself signing off namrita kariala